Before I get out of here, I'm going to ask you the same question I ask every day. How long are you going to waste your life at that desk? That's what I'm saying. I'm telling you folks, don't work for somebody else. You're building their wealth, their future, and their dreams. What will you leave your kids once you retire? You're going to give them that fake Rolex they gave you as a parting gift? Mm -mm. Nope. Preach, brother. Get out of that nine to five rat race and start creating your future today. The time is now, not tomorrow. Hey, sorry, can I see you in my office in five minutes? Sure. Everything okay? Yeah, come on. Hey, um, you come in. Sweet. Uh, close the door behind me. Alright. What's up, Tiff? Tiffany's gonna be sitting in for HR purposes. She's gonna be documenting our meeting. Okay. Um, so. There's no easy way for me to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. Mark, you've been demoted. What? Listen, your urine test came back inconsistent. You sold me out. <laughs> Excuse you? Tiffany, I need the room. Uncle Tom for these white folks? Oh, you ungrateful motherfucker. Do you know I was in there fighting for you? I'm the reason you still have a job. How about you not smoke weed next time? Aren't you the fucking righteous one, Carmen? Where was this at when we were hotboxing your Altima two weeks ago? Oh, my Altima? Don't ever disrespect my BMW by calling it a damn Altima. Listen, you have till Monday to take this demotion. Make a decision. Meanwhile, put that in your blunt and smoke it. Are you serious? Are you still here? So we start off with Mark in the office. Yeah. Man, he's, he's listened to a motivational video. Everybody's listened to the Dame Dash Breakfast Club <laughs> is the inspiration behind this video. I remember when that came out, I mean, you had a pretty heavy debate yeah. on, uh, yeah, on yeah. Facebook. And, and that's how... Uh, that's how I kind of envisioned the scene, like mm -hmm. him, like we all go through that. Like, mm -hmm. man, I'm tired of this nine to five. Yeah. And so he's getting all juiced up for this new endeavor or to take control of his professional life yeah. and then he gets demoted. Yep. Then he you, gets demoted. You, you tried demoted. Carmen. Yeah. You tried Carmen. Listen, In the office. Listen. I didn't appreciate that. This guy has just, I don't just, think anybody did. This guy has just <laughs> uh, lost his girl. Yeah. He's about to lose his job, well, get demoted from his mm -hmm. job. He had, he's dealing with a ton of stresses. He got kicked out of his house. He's mm -hmm. dealing with a ton of stresses. Yeah. Of course, he's looking for somebody to lash out on. And unfortunately, his work wife, who just so happens to be his team leader, yeah. gets the brunt of it. I guess that is built in tension when you have friends, and this is real life, yeah. and you report to those friends. Yeah. yeah. You know, and it's kind of like when something goes south and they have to become your boss instead right. of your mm -hmm. friend, then that's... Reality. That brown reality becomes sense. really blurry, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's hard because Carmen didn't want to do that. Right. Like, Carmen was actually, you know, she she wasn't happy to demote her friend. Right. You know, like they hang out together. Yeah. You know, that's... It, that's like the worst thing to be as a leader right. on a team is, especially somebody that you have a connection with, it's just like, I have to demote you. Right. And then he's appalled because you had just smoked with him. You just yeah. blew right. smoked out the Ultima. But, but you had me and Bevy. But either, tried either, that too. Either, <laughs> either management isn't subjected to the drug right. test or, or <laughs> she, won, she won the lottery and didn't get picked. Didn't get yeah. picked. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty much what it is. She, yeah. did, she didn't get picked. And so we see Mark get sent home, then his car. Yeah. That car goes south. His, car's go, his car goes south on him. When it rains, it pours. It, it, oh, my gosh. Yeah. So it's all coming down on him. And yeah. then he calls Eric to come pick him up. And Eric, you know, he tries to lash out at Eric. Hey, mm -hmm. bro, you're supposed to come through for me. Yeah. And Eric is like, bro, I didn't put that, didn't put that joint up to your mouth and make you smoke. Right. It's everybody else's fault except it's, Exactly. So he's, he, he has no accountability yeah. right now. Home girl of mine is hiring for part-time help. And I think you might be perfect for the job. Info in the glove box. What the fuck is this? Nigga, what options you got? Yo, but seriously, 
do some crunches. They don't be tipping the fat niggas. <laughs> the fuck out my, yeah. fuck out my car. Tell Joyce I said what up. <laughs>